Good evening, everyone. It's an honor to be here. Um, once again, with the Blue Prosperity Leaders family, oh, with Mr. Waite as a uh, great partner of Bermuda in our efforts to create our own blue economy and to be a part of the movement to protect our oceans. And certainly, we met earlier today, and it was heartwarming to know that all of the members of the Blue Prosperity group of leaders remain to have a common purpose in our goal to ensure that not only our communities thrive, but also that the global oceans are protected and thrive. In case some of you don't know about Bermuda, we're a 56-kilometer island in the middle of the Atlantic. We have a 464,000 square kilometer EEZ, and we have the most northerly coral reef system in the world. So we're quite unique when it comes to our assets when it, as it relates to the ocean. And we've had over 400 years of maritime culture and heritage. We are over 1,000 kilometers away from anywhere. So we're on our own. Um, so we understand the challenges of being a large ocean state, an island, and coastal community. And because we understand the need to protect our oceans, in 2019, we formed a relationship with the Waite Foundation and also the Bermuda Institute of Ocean Sciences to move forward to create a blue prosperity plan for Bermuda that would have not only a blue economy strategy, but also a marine spatial plan. And we have developed that plan as a holistic approach to our ocean management. And with the two parts that I mentioned, particularly the marine spatial plan to manage our, the um, space of our EEZ and to ensure the proper and responsible use of those assets, and also the blue economy strategy, which will lay out an economic plan for us to sustainably take advantage of our marine assets and to diversify those assets in an equitable and meaningful way. Through this journey, we have drafted a very comprehensive plan, which, which, which we all believe represents the best interests of our people. And the proposed marine spatial plan, which I mentioned, does commit to protecting 20% of our ocean space to be highly protected and fully protected. So we're very proud that we're going to make that achievement. Within the blue economy framework, we also have an ocean fund, which will be the main tool for financing all of the important steps we have to take to create our blue economy and manage our marine spatial plan. It will ensure that we have good conservation and enforcement. It will also ensure that we can facilitate the investment in things like marine and ocean tourism, in, in, in things like renewable energy, in the, in the conservation and protection that we must have as part of this so that we can ensure these assets are sustainable. And we're working with the Wade Foundation for that, and I look forward to seeing the, those components come to life. And in fact, I presented the final draft of that plan to, to, to my cabinet last week as information, because we are going to continue with a last phase, because we're in the final phases of our plan, to go out to our public once again, because we have taken pride to have a very strong public consultation approach so that they can see the last draft, and if anyone in our community has anything they wish to contribute, we will take those contributions and see if they bring strength to the plan. Even after all the work that has all the science and all the data, we just want to ensure that every member of our community has the feeling that they have been a part of the plan. So I look forward to presenting it to my cabinet for decision and actually finalizing every component of this package by the summertime. So we're looking forward to completion of this process. We very much appreciate the journey that we've taken with the Waite Foundation and our partners and with our community in this because we believe that the ocean is our future. 
But I believe this is what all of the Blue Prosperity leaders understand. The ocean is our future. It's the ocean, it's the future of our own sustainability, but it's also the future of the planet. And the planet must move quicker than we are to sustain and ensure that the oceans of the world are protected long into the future. So with that, thank you for my opportunity, like for the opportunity to make these remarks. Thank you to the Wake Foundation. Thank you to all of our partners that have helped us through this journey. Thank you.